Do you know what I'm most grateful for in life? Just for men? <laughs> no, when I was young, mobile phones didn't exist. Oh, back in your day, phones probably didn't exist full stop. <laughs> and Matty, customers will not serve themselves. So come on, then. Where the big daft grin? The big daft grin is because someone has got a date tonight, and that someone is me. Orange juice? Finally. So, you've got a date. Good work. Yeah, so I jumped in with two feet on this dating website and said it. I'm trans. Instantly wish I could jump straight back out again. But? Well, before I could, this girl ever gets in touch and wants to meet straight away. Can't believe it myself. I know it probably sounds a bit stupid, but it sort of feels like a big deal to me. Yeah, because it is. And it doesn't sound stupid at all. And I'm very, very happy for you. I've already booked the DJ, and there's loads of other surprises planned. Look, please tell me it's not going to be karaoke. <laughs> nah, I'll leave the naff stuff for this place. <laughs> <laughs> leave the old people to the bitterness and the bitter in the stuffy old pub and come party with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's still behind me, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is why I was saying a load of silly stuff I don't mean. <laughs> Hi, Janet, how are you? You serious, are you? Sat in my pub slating it whilst also trying to steal the customers from under my nose for your event. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds pretty bad. Well, I'll tell you what is bad. You trying to destroy the business of your sister's girlfriend. I mean, who does that? Hey. Hey, surely there's enough business for everyone. Sorry? Well, he's just a birthday party, isn't it? So. Yes. It's not just a birthday party, it's my son's birthday. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean anything. Good job I'm not offering loyalty bonuses because you'd have just lost yours. What? I was just. Just go on your date, Judas. She might just be running late. She's not answering the phone. Three texts, nothing back. Well, it's what girls do. Keeps us interesting. Or oh, annoying. No, I knew it was coming. She's probably drunk when she said she wanted to meet up. That would be funny. <laughs> then realise there's nothing funny about a trans freak. Seriously, you are getting way ahead of yourself. Anything could have happened. Hang on, Charity was talking to a girl before. What did she look like? Dark hair, shoulder length, really pretty. Yeah. Sounds like a profile pic. Oh, Jack was talking to her. What'd she say? No idea. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not going to be good, though, is it? After what happened before. I just want to know if you said something. I think you'll find I've got much bigger things to worry about than putting off any of your potential new girlfriends. I'm sure, you can do that all by yourself. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, do you want me to write it down for you, or perhaps buy you a little book on personality disorders? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah. What'd you say to her? Come on, tell me. <sighs> you really think I'm that vindictive? If you must know, she was asking me for directions. Directions? So don't come in here shouting your face off at me. Sorry, if that was me. No, I don't care, Victoria. Nobody speaks to me like that, especially in my own pub. Especially not my oh, own bar staff. Cos we're all so below you, aren't we? We're not allowed to speak up. I beg your pardon? Well, how about we all just step back a second? It was just a silly mistake. Judas, she called me, just because not everyone wants to go to the party of the son she abandoned. You are? Top mum. You're pathetic. Matty. Heather. No, that... That one, if I'm not like that, we... It'll be fine. There'll be other girls. And you better hope there'll be other jobs, too. But for now, get the hell out of my pub! 